Okay, so man, Misty Mad Midnight Garden. I can't talk. Oh, this is gonna be a great video already. Min Misty Midnight Garden. All right, this is the one. Um, uh, the first page isn't too bad. It's a lot of the same thing. It goes up a lot though, up on the higher octaves. So see in the music, it says octave up, and then it stays. Throughout the whole line, throughout the whole page. That means this whole page is going to be up here, the higher C than this one. Alright, and let me show you how to play that figure. Yeah. Alright, and yeah, so that's the first phrase, the first two lines. Um, it's got a sixth, so make sure you open up your hand for that whole thing. And it's got another sixth off of A. And then we have one, two, three, four, and then a third with the scale at the end. Okay? So we have our sixth up on the high, then a sixth, and then this is kind of like a scale fingering where we tuck under. Okay? And then the next part, the phrase two, kind of is the same thing. It just has this same beginning. crazy. It goes the second and then that third. Okay, so watch out for that. Measure seven. All right, let me get to the second page. The second page is a little harder. We think chords for the second page. So if you know your G chord, you're going to have a whole lot easier time learning this. If you know your A minor chord, it's going to be a whole lot easier. And then if you know your B flat, it's going to be a whole lot easier. So play those chords first. G, A minor, and then B flat's a little tricky. It's got a black key. But then if you watch line 9, just the G chord, and then G chord, and then A minor chord. So that's why knowing those chords is going to be a little easier. Then it goes to B flat, then A minor. It's all built out of chords. And then at 16, it gets this weird part. Okay, see the thumbs crossing under? And that's like the beginning. time go through all this information process and practice okay good luck bye